match celebrations at Tannadice yesterday as United chairman Jim McLean made a presentation to Morris Malpass to mark his 600 appearances for the club. A tremendous achievement. And the celebrations continued as United struck the target in under three minutes. A pass back by Neil Berry seemed to put keeper Nicky Walker under pressure and his nervous clearance went straight to Scott Crabb who hit the perfect shot past his former teammate. 1-0 United. Hearts forced United keeper Van de Kamp into action when Scott Leach fired in a shot from 20 yards, but the Dutchman tipped it over for a corner. The game, though, was effectively killed off as a contest in the 15th minute. Hearts' Jim Weir could only head Welsh's ball into the path of Paddy Conley, 2-0. United were well in command, Hearts were in disarray, Brian Welsh was next to test Walker. Hearts screamed for a penalty kick when Leach tumbled as he and Van de Kamp went for the ball, but referee Jim Herald didn't want to know. 2-0 United then at the interval. The second half started quietly. Hearts replaced Johnson with Robertson after eight minutes, but it was United who kept the upper hand. Jim McAnally not far off target here. Hearts then put Mackay on for Berry and United gave Jaron Nixon his first taste of Premier football when he replaced Paddy Conway. And he didn't have long to wait for his first touch as United once again swept downfield towards a Hearts goal. McKinley in the end, leaving it for Morris Malpass, but his shot blocked by Walker. Hearts hadn't given up the fight just yet. Wayne Foster carried the ball to the goal line and his cross was headed by Welsh across the face of his own goal but there were no takers. Any lingering hopes the Tynecastle side may have held disappeared in the 75th minute when Malpass crossed for Craig Brewster to prod home goal number three for United. And 3-0 it finished. A shocking result for Hearts, who sit just one point off the drop zone. And the Hearts fans directed their anger and frustration towards manager Sandy Clark, who endured a torrent of abuse as he was escorted by stewards back to the dressing room. A 3-0 defeat, a bad day for Hearts and Clark. <laughs>